Here is my security news roundup for the week ending May 10th, 2024. Is this the end of Google as we know it? After a five-month courtroom battle, the biggest antitrust case the courts have seen in a quarter of a century between the U.S. Justice Department and Google will close this week. Both sides will conclude with closing arguments on whether Google is using its dominance and power to prevent fair competition and stifle innovation. One of the key arguments the opposition is making against Google is about its default search engine contracts. Google claims that Google is so successful simply because it has engineered the best technology and doesn't need to engage in sinister tactics. If the judge finds Google guilty, it's thought he may dilute Google's market dominance by imposing high fines or demanding a company restructure. Read more at AIToolReport.com. Bill Gates never left. Publicly, Gates has been almost entirely out of the picture at Microsoft since 2021, following allegations that he had behaved inappropriately toward female employees. In fact, Business Insider has learned Gates has been quietly orchestrating much of Microsoft's AI revolution from behind the scenes. Current and former executives say Gates remains intimately involved in the company's operations, advising on strategy, reviewing products, recruiting high-level executives, and nurturing Microsoft's crucial relationship with Sam Altman, the co-founder and CEO of OpenAI. What you read is not what's happening in reality, another Microsoft executive said. Sataya and the entire senior leadership team lean on Gates very significantly. His opinion is sought every time we make a major change. Read more at businessinsider.com. Microsoft's Nadala tells staff to make cybersecurity a priority. Facing harsh criticism for failing to contain several major cyber attacks, Microsoft's Corp. Chief Executive Officer Sataya Nadala sent a blunt message to his staff Friday, urging them to make cybersecurity a top priority. If you're faced with a trade-off between security and another priority, your answer is clear. Do security, Nadala wrote in a company-wide memo. In some cases, this will mean prioritizing security above other things we do, such as releasing new features or providing ongoing support for legacy systems. The Dallas memo came as Microsoft announced a series of new anti-hacking initiatives that include basing a portion of a senior leader's compensation on meeting cybersecurity milestones and adding cyber chiefs to its product groups. Read more at finance.yahoo.com. Microsoft uncovers a security flaw impacting Android apps with billions of combined downloads. Microsoft has brought to light a critical security loophole potentially affecting countless Android applications. Dubbed Dirty Stream, this vulnerability presents a serious threat that could grant someone the ability to take control of apps and steal valuable user information. The heart of the Dirty Stream vulnerability lies in the potential for malicious Android apps to manipulate and abuse Android's content provider system. By exploiting the Dirty Stream flaw, an attacker could trick a vulnerable app into overwriting critical files with its private storage space. To stay safe, keep your device updated and only download from the App Store. Read more at AndroidAuthority.com. New Cuckoo Persistent Mac OS Spyware Targeting Intel and ARM Max. Cybersecurity researchers have discovered a new information stealer targeting Apple Mac OS systems that's designed to set up persistence 
on the infected host and act as a spyware. Dubbed Cuckoo by Kanji, the malware is a universal match o binary that's capable of running on both Intel and ARM-based Macs. The exact distribution vector is currently unclear, although there are indications that the binary is hosted on sites that claim to offer free and paid versions of applications dedicated to ripping music from streaming services and converting it into an MP3 format. The disk image file downloaded from the websites is responsible for spawning a bash shell to gather host information and ensuring that the compromised machine is not located in Armenia, Belarus, Kazakhstan, Russia, Ukraine. The malicious binary is executed only if the local check is successful. Read more at thehackernews.com. Google simplifies two-factor authentication setup. It's more important than ever. Google on Monday announced that it's simplifying the process of enabling two-factor authentication for users with personal and workspace accounts. Also called two-step verification, it aims to add an extra layer of security to users' accounts to prevent takeover attacks in case the passwords are stolen. The new change entails adding a second-step method, such as an authenticator app or a hardware security key, before turning on 2FA, thus eliminating the need for using the less secure SMS-based authentication. Google also noted that over 400 million Google accounts have started using passkeys over the past year for passwordless authentication. Read more at thehackernews.com. Critical tiny proxy flaw opens over 50,000 hosts to remote code execution. More than 50% of the 90,310 hosts have been found exposing a tiny proxy service on the internet that's vulnerable to a critical unpatched security flaw in the HTTP HTTPS proxy tool. The issue, tracked as CVE 2023-49606, carries a CVSS score of 9.8 out of the maximum of 10 per Cisco Talos, which described it as a use after free bug impacting version 1.10.0 and 1.11.1, the latter of which is the latest version. Currently, a specially crafted HTTP header can trigger reuse of previously free memory, which leads to memory corruption and could lead to remote code execution, Talos said. Read more at thehackernews.com. TikTok sues to block prospective U.S. app ban. TikTok sued Tuesday to block a U.S. law that could force a nationwide ban of the popular app. Following through on legal threats, the company issued after President Joe Biden signed the legislation last month. The court challenge sets up a historic legal battle, one that will determine whether U.S. security concerns about TikTok's links to China can trump the First Amendment rights of TikTok's 170 million U.S. users. The stakes of the case are existential for TikTok. If it loses, TikTok could be banned from U.S. app stores unless its Chinese parent company, ByteDance, sells the app to a non-Chinese entity by mid-January 2025. Read more at CNN.com. This week's Must See on my YouTube channel. The Future of Area Codes, Navigating the Numbers Area codes are more than just numbers. They're a reflection of our society's growth and technological progress. Please watch my video on that topic by following the link listed. Did you know? McDonald's once made bubblegum-flavored broccoli. The Lens of Your Eye 
casts everything it sees upside down onto your retina. Only when the image reaches the visual processing center of your brain is it inverted. Only an estimated 8% of global currency is physical money. The rest is in digital form, like debit and credit cards. Each accepted failure is one step closer to your ultimate success. Thanks to yours truly. And that's a wrap for this week's Security News Roundup. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching and listening.